in 2 Kings 6, verse 15. When the servant of the man of God got up and went out early the, the next morning, an army with horses and chariot surrounded the city. Oh no, my Lord, what shall we do? The servant asked. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elijah prayed, Open his eyes, Lord, so he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the servant, and he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. As the enemy came down toward him, Elisha prayed to the Lord, Strike this, har this army with blindness. So he struck them with blindness, as Elijah asked. Elijah told them, This is not the road and this is not the city. Follow me and I will lead you to the man you are looking for. And he led them to Samaria. Hallelujah, Jesus. We serve a God of reinforcement. And I believe that the Lord, just as he did for Elisha and his servant, he's doing for mothers in this moment, in this season, in this year that's coming, that there's so much more that is with mothers than those that are against you. There's so much more on the, the angelic side. There's so much more reinforcement on the spiritual realm than the demonic forces that are against you. You are surrounded with chariots and horses that are ready to rage war on your behalf. I hear the Lord say, Makoto Shadabat, that He has sent reinforcement. Father God, I pray even now that you will open the eyes of your mothers. You will open the eyes of your daughters even now. That they will not be afraid of the terror that comes by day, nor the arrow that flies by night. We pray even now that they will not be afraid of the uh, uh, of the roller cycles of life. They will not be afraid of the tribulation, of the persecution, uh, 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 of the weariness, of the tiredness that may come their way because they have reinforcement. We pray that mothers will begin to understand that the reinforcement that they have in heaven heaven will make sure that they will not fall we want mothers to begin to understand that the reinforcement that they have in heaven ah is stronger than the foundation of the kingdom of darkness ah we want mothers to understand that they don't need to worry they do not need to fear for the lord he is a god of the the angels of host he he command the angels ah he gives them dominion he gives them authority he gives them um, um, power to rage war on your behalf. Um, 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 to keep you in all your ways mm. their hands will bear you up you will not dash your foot against a stone that's reinforcement that's reinforcement the, the lord is commanding angels to be charged to be watched over you to to, to watch day and night to be steadfast ah uh, to be on the lookout on your behalf you have reinforcement you may not feel it in the natural you may not feel like it when you wake up and have to face the thing the, the, the daily struggles the daily obstacles the daily um, um burdens you carry the, the daily weight that you carry but i'm here to encourage you mothers and i'm here to speak in the supernatural realm and i'm here to speak over you that your eyes will open your eyes will open and you will begin to see the reinforcement of the lord in your life that he has sent reinforcement for your sons he has sent reinforcement for your daughters he has sent reinforcements for your children he has sent reinforcement for your household yes the lord is defending you he's your great defender 
He's your public defender. Ah, your Lord is your advocate. He's your defender. He's your present help in time of trouble. We serve a God of reinforcement. We serve a God of backup. We serve a God of Calvary. We know. We know that the enemy cannot triumph over you because your reinforcement will never run out. <laughs> your reinforcement will never run out. You have unlimited reinforcement. Unlimited reinforcement. I pray that the eyes of your heart, your supernatural eyes and your natural eyes, they will begin to open. Mm -hmm. I hear footsteps of soldiers. I hear foot soldiers marching on behalf of mothers. You have reinforcement in 2022. You have reinforcement. You have reinforcement. Ah, I hear the I hear the I hear the Lord say, get your confidence back, mother, before reinforcement is here. There are certain things where you, you have you have put aside. You didn't have the confidence of it anymore. Not because you were weary, and also because you didn't feel like you have the support to carry out this thing. But I hear that the Lord said, You may not see the support in the natural realm, but understand that everything that I've called you to do, everything that I've anointed you to do, that you have reinforcement in the supernatural realm. There's angelic force that stands on your behalf. And here's a fun fact. One angel can send 180,000 men to death. So imagine if the Lord has given you more than one angel. You're more than covered. You're more than protected. The Bible says, one angel you are covered you are covered you are covered you are covered mama mama soto you are covered in the name of jesus shidadabasiti sunadamandia you are covered in second kings chapter 19 verse 35 it said that night the angel of the lord went out to the sarayan camp and killed one 185,000 soldiers. One angel has the power, has the authority to slay 185,000 demons, 185,000 enemies that will rise up against you. One angel can do that. One angel. So even if you have one angel, that you have enough reinforcement. Some of us, some of us don't even have 185,000 aiders. We don't have 185,000 um, enemies, but we have one angel, and that one angel can slay um, 185,000 men on our behalf. We have reinforcement, mothers. I'm here to remind you, or if you didn't know, I'm here to tell you that you have reinforcement in the supernatural realm. Stand in confidence and stand in authority. When the enemy try to come upon you to take your children, to take your focus, stand knowing that you have backup. We serve a God of reinforcement. He will.